G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be going over my 2023 NRL Power Rankings for round 14. So we're 14 rounds through the season now. I think we've got a pretty good idea of what um, what the finals is probably going to look like, but uh, there's still so many um, unanswered questions. I think there's probably about... Uh, I'd say 15 teams that got oh, 14 teams that could legitimately make finals this year, which is insane to think, but I really do. So let's jump in and uh, discuss my power rankings for round 14. So as we always do, we start at the bottom and make our way up. Dragons for me are 17th. Yeah, look, they played well on the weekend against the Panthers, but you know they, they haven't impressed me as much as the other teams have. Like, they, they were good on the weekend. I won't take anything away from them, but there were teams that are currently above, above them on the ladder that were definitely better than them this weekend. The next team is the West Tigers. I'm so glad the Tigers have turned their season around and are at least competitive because the Raiders are not a bad team and they really took it to them this weekend. So uh, very good, good game there for the Tigers. Really, really good game. Um, in 15, in, yeah, sorry, 15th. It hurts me to do so because they are one of my favourite Queensland teams. Um, the Titans. First half, phenomenal. They were really good in the first half against the Rabbitohs. I was nervous as a Rabbitohs fan at Seabus. I was so nervous. I thought, geez, these Titans might get it done, but... They were just that second half. It's the second halves for them. They'd be top of the table if they if they played. If it was if it was only a forty minute game, they honestly would. Titans, I feel sorry for your fans. I really do because you guys were amazing on the weekend. Your fans, outstanding. Um, I'm going the Bulldogs in fourteen. I mean, you might think that's a bit too much of a jump there, but I thought they were phenomenal against the Roosters, and I thought they were unlucky in that game. Uh, they were with them for the whole game. They started off really well, 12-0 up. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of positives for the Bulldogs, considering they're missing a lot of their forward pack. Huge, huge positives for the Dogs there. Um, I think moving forward, they will be a tough team to beat. Really do. All right, next up, we've got, I think, uh, the Cowboys, I think it's fair to put them in 13th. Look, they, they jump up a bit because of the good win over Storm. But I've got to remember a few weeks ago, they got belted by the Tigers as well. So I can't put them too high up, but I definitely do think they're moving in the right direction. Right, next up, I'm going with Newcastle. Now, obviously, with the bye, that moves Newcastle up the ladder, but they're still... Uh, Still a lot I don't know about the Knights. Like Lockie Miller, he's uh, he's not he's probably not going to play again this year unless of injury. I don't think they use him off the bench. I really don't. Um, there's just there's just no need for him to come off the bench, and it sucks because he's been phenomenal. He's been, in my opinion, one of their best players. So it's you know it sucks for him, but you know they want to play KP at fullback now. I think what they need to do is probably play Lockie Miller at 5'8". That would be my opinion. I think he'd he'd do a job wherever you play him. Uh, they're going with Tyson Gamble. Look, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, Knights, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't put him any higher. Uh, next up, I'm going Manly in 11th. Um, another team that was on the bye on the weekend. Look, I think they'll struggle this weekend. Uh, I can't remember who they're playing now. Jeez, uh, I've had a mind bloke. Can't remember who Manly are playing, um, but I think um, I, I tipped against them. I know that much. So I, look, you just don't know what you're going to get from Manly. To be honest, to be straight up and honest, you don't know what you're going to get from Manly. And I, yeah, I just, I think eleventh is fine for them. In tenth, I'm going the Roosters. They make their way up the power rankings a little bit, but I, I still think they were a little bit disappointing against the Dogs. To be honest. Uh, whereas I thought the Bulldogs were quite good. But yeah, I think I think um, 10th is fair for the Roosters, to be honest. All right, top eight. This is so tough. I think I've got to go Eels in ninth. Um, 
mainly because yeah, they're still pretty low down the ladder, but they are only one win off the top eight. So that's that's something. But um, and they haven't had their buys yet either. So you know that really that really helps helps them as well. But uh, you know that they've still been a little bit disappointing this year. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep them at ninth. I don't know, so they had one buy on the weekend. My apologies. I'm going to keep them at ninth. Um, but they definitely could be moving up the pair rankings. That's for sure. All right, next up in eighth. I'm going to put the Dolphins. I'm going to put the Dolphins in eighth. Um, big reason why I'm putting the Dolphins in eighth. They're just they're, they're so hard to read because some some weeks you'll get the best out of the best and the best from them, then other weeks they'll look disappointing. I think um, eighth spot is fair for the Dolphins. They went over to New Zealand. Warriors absolutely tailed them up. I think um, you know I still think they're going to be a decent team come you know Septemberish, but I don't know if they're going to be in that top eight. Uh, they're definitely going to be in the uh, in the running for it, but uh, yeah. I think eighth spot for now is fair. Um, seventh spot, I'm giving it to the Storm. I thought they were absolutely horrible on the weekend. Cowboys easily outplayed them. Uh, seventh spot for me, I think, is fair for the Storm, and I'm not going to touch on them anymore. I think that's a fair um, fair ranking of them, to be honest. Warriors, for me, go up to sixth. They had a really good win over the Dolphins. Very strong performance. I think sixth spot is fair for the Waz. All right, in fifth spot, I'm going to go the Raiders. Um, was very close to putting them in the top four. I honestly was, but they just let they're, they're letting leads slip. Like they just they don't win 13 plus, and that that's that's the running joke. But it's true. Like they'll be out by 20 points, and then the team will come back. It's just it's it's crazy. To their credit. Unlike the Titans, they win the games. But, uh, yeah, look, I, I can't put them in the top four. I still think these teams are well and truly the, the four best teams in the comp at the moment. Um, but I'm going to put the Bronco, oh, sorry, um, the Sharks at number four. I, I think they've had a little bit of a fall off with that loss to the Broncos. I thought the Broncos were fantastic. But the Sharks were a little bit, uh, a little bit, how you going? Um, Rabbitohs for me in third. Look, they've jumped up once again. Yes, they were disappointing in the first half, and I am very annoyed we let uh, the Tino try get through. But still, good stuff from the Rabbitohs. Like it, it, I, I still think we're a premiership threat. Um, in second, I'm going the Panthers. The yeah, I know Nathan Cleary wasn't. You know, he missed most of that game due to injury. But I tell you what, man. They still got the job done. They they still they still won the game. Like they still won it without Cleary. So credit to them. But I, I've I've got the Broncos overtaking them. I really do, man. They, like they look good on the weekend. And I know they only won by eight against the Sharks, but it was at Shark Park. And I thought the Broncos were in control of that game from kickoff. I really did. I thought the Broncos had a really good performance. And I think they absolutely deserve to be sitting at number one in the power rankings. But as always, guys, I leave it up to you to tell me what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to hear from you guys. Drop it down in the comments. But that is going to wrap it up from me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.